Hello everybody and thanks for joining me today. Uh, so I'm going to teach you how to do the spinning text effect. So it's very similar to the one I have here. Um, very simple, nothing fancy. Like everything I do, it's not fancy. Okay, so let's go into your corral video and then uh, drop your footage onto the timeline. It could be whatever it want. Still, uh, a video clip, whatever. So then uh, drop your filter on to your time and go into your customs filters. So here we are. So here we are. So let's uh, begin with typing in our text. Hello world. Alright, so first thing we need to do, uh, we're going to create uh, this word onto a sphere. So we need this font to be quite large. But before we do that, Go back to the beginning of your words and hit enter twice. And then with exactly the same thing, go to the end of your word and hit enter twice. Okay. And now we need to uh, scale up the text. We need to work with large fonts. Alright, so uh, I would recommend probably about oh, 220 or something like that. Now you're going, dude, your words disappeared. Oh no, not really, it's still here. But it's so large now, it's going to be difficult to work with. So I'm going to scale, I'm going to use a different percentage to view this word. So I'm going to drop from 100% to about 12.5. And then I can see my text clearly back in the preview window. And that allows me to work with it much easier. Okay, so just now what you want to do is just select the style you want so you can play around with all the, uh, the different styles in your text and so forth but if you're like me super lazy I just use a preset and there it is okay uh, and you're pretty well done the only advice I would have now is go into your page and make sure your text wrap is set on no wrap if you select wrap you'll watch what happens to my text it's going to try and squeeze it into your footage and it's going to look silly. So make sure there's no wrap on your text. Uh, and an update. Okay. So there's your word. So what do we need to do now is we need to create the 3D sphere effect. So make sure your Hello World tab is selected. Go into your 3D shapes. Left click and tick 3D sphere. And there it is. But now we have a problem, as you see. You can hardly make out what this word is. That's okay. Do not panic. Still highlight on your sphere text and go into your control panel. And over here you'll see a tab called sphere. Voila! <laughs> I think I've had too much coffee this morning. Alright, so we're at 100%. So what we need to do is we need to create this sphere. Well, we need to make the sphere actually larger because the sphere is basically a ball. So we're going to reduce the percentage. And as you can see now, my words are starting to spread out more. So you just move your slider to the point where you want it. And I'll say yes, that's, that's fine with me there. So now it fits nice and neatly and the words are audible. Audible, readable. Sorry about that. I really have way too much coffee this morning. Go back to your position. Alright, so but if I press play, absolutely nothing will happen. Why? Because I've done absolutely nothing to the words other than just played around with the text and font and style. So what you want to go to is to your spin. Go to your interpolation and then tick linear. So it just stays on one spot and spins. And you probably want a rotation of one or two. The higher the value, the faster it will spin. So I'm going to select a value of two. So now, if I uh, go back to, onto my keyframe, you will see now that it spins nice and freely. And there you go. It really is that simple. As you can see, we've done that pretty quick, relatively in a couple of minutes. But we can do more, we can do more. Let's go back to the keyframe. 
I want to have a bit of a tilt on this. So now it's spinning quite nicely, but I just want to have a tilt. Well, maybe a tilt slightly back. So I'm going to have to create a container. So staying on my tab, the world tab, highlight it. Control J will give me a container. And as soon as I open the container, I again get more controls. So I'm going to go down. And I'm going to go to tumble. My interpolation, again, is linear. And now watch what happens if I move this slightly. You'll see that it starts to go back a bit. So whatever angle you want that, you can then do that. Just moving this. No, I would have too much. Yeah, that should be there. There we go. Well, now it spins on an angle, it spins around. It's spinning, spinning, spinning. And there you go, my friends. That's that easy. Now, obviously, you can uh, play around with the text to suit your style and needs. Uh, obviously, you can uh, resize the text, which is quite simple to do. Uh, scale in here. So you have the options of do whatever you want with it. And that's easy. There you go. Just apply. And you're pretty well done. There's your Hello World spinning on the spot. It's a very simple effect. And again, you may wish to do something to this. I'm rambling. I'm sorry about that. I'll leave it here. And as always, thanks for watching.